and I'm doing it for my daughter. Yeah, man, I re- I skimmed through this book last night. It was so. It's not. It's not. None of this is like cutting edge or amazing, but it's just so annoying reading. Like, have you ever heard of a uh, futurists or constructivists? The Italian futurists. These are like people in the 1920s at the be- people who were fascinated. Like in this, it's it's kind of interesting. It's like um, there was something that happened in the 20s ish that was kind of like what's happening with AI now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which was people being fascinated with machinery and thinking that like um, uh, it was going to just eliminate toil. Eliminate, eliminate toil. Uh, it was actually. It's hard to explain in a, in a paragraph. This is Jan Chichold. Hmm. So first of all, look at the look at how fucking ugly this guy is. Taking a lot of notes in there. I was taking I was taking notes. Yeah. Oh. Here here he is as a boy. Oh. So you can tell he's an autistic communist. Oh. <laughs> and um. Look how look how fucking ugly he is. Look how Ooh. dysgenic and fucked up he is. He's Slavic. I Would think. you m- recommend reading it? What, what's the? No, not at all. Look at this oh. fucking cretin. He looks a Who bit. Is he? This it, he's a he's a typographer and he's um, he's one of the one of these people who's extremely responsible for <clears throat> modern <clears throat> typography. And uh, his uh, he goes from he goes from doing this. He, he was a calligrapher, so he does this beautiful German script. Mm. Okay. And then as soon as he hits 20, he becomes enamored of Russian, Russian, um, <laughs> oh. uh, Russian sorcerers. Enamored of this type of shit. Uh, Russian okay. sorcerers, you uh, mean. Deco. Um, yeah. No, not, not Deco. Not uh, Deco? Like uh, proto Bauhaus modernist, um, sans serif stuff. And then he goes and writes a manifesto, Die Neue, die neue Typography, the new typography. <laughs> and he changed his name to Ivan instead of his name's Jan, but he temporarily took the name Ivan because he was so he was so into this Russian stuff type. And it's it's like a communist manifesto. It's it's this is happening. Um, it's the it's it's not interesting enough to talk about on a podcast, but it's just interesting to see somebody's so the the life story of somebody morphing through communism and then ultimately realizing in the end that his life's work has been. A total waste because his whole if if there were one if there were one thesis um if there were one thesis to his to his life um it would be that the book should a book should be comprised or composed from sans serif type you know what sans serif mm-hmm. is sans serif is these these letters that have no um uh it's just angles it's just it's just geometric yeah and the idea is that a serif type is decorative. A serif type is overly, it's ostentatious. And so it's this, like this right here, he would say this is ostentatious. So mm. in, in like World War I, it, it's, it's basically because his family like didn't have a potato to rub together. Like he couldn't get a potato. Mm-hmm. So he spends his whole life trying to, uh, destroy ornamentation from type but the roman the the serif type the whole point of those little ornamentations those little things that come off the edges is to make it more readable okay so the whole it's not for it's not for decoration when you're looking at type on a page you see how see how this type has these little just the little nubs on the edges and stuff yeah that's to make it more readable if you were to look if you were to look at um this this type of type and I'll just, you'll have to take my word for it. Yeah. But if this, if this were smaller and not poster size, you would use sans, ser- or sans serif to make a heavy impact, to make a geometric eye-grabbing thing. But like it's, a warning it's sign. not readable. It's not readable. A oh. warning sign, yeah. If it's readable in like three words. So yeah. it's distressing. Like dry, don't let it off. On a page, it's, it's distressing. Mm. It's, it's anti-human. Mm. It's annoying. It's anti-human. Anti-human. Though. It's anti-human. Hmm. And this this guy's story is kind of fascinating because he's autistic. He views people as objects. He view, he doesn't he doesn't look at them as um, kind of demonic a little bit. And then at the at the end, he like he kind of comes around and uh, and not apologizes, but admits admits defeat, uh, but just barely. And he's, he doesn't he doesn't really fully 
fully do it, but he he does admit that the book should be types, sorry. typeset in serif. That's he doesn't, he, does he doesn't even say sorry. My bad. But his philosophy continues on till the end of time. Yeah. Till the end of time. Yo, Sans emotion. And he's, he's lauded as the most important typographer or whatever. The but, most important cu culture and language destroyer in is, history. Did he do the uh, Russian constructivist, constructivist shit? Uh, uh, is that the diagonal stuff? The red wedge with the red and the, the triangle thing? I think he was fascinated by them. I think that's where he... Al, I just bought the poster. I have him for sale. Is it like like kind of this type of shit? Yep. I think, I think that's what he saw that... Um, I could have bought an original for a fifteen hundred mm. one time. It sold for forty five thousand. Mm. I wanted to kill myself. Good God! Nick. I, could have, I found one. They were like, "I'll give you the fifteen hundred. Then I come back the next day. They're like, "Wait, we made a mistake. We want four thousand for it." And I was like, mm. "Fuck!" Uh. But I was like, "Shit!" And it was the original. It was good looking. It was just like I didn't have fifteen hundred bucks. It was in L.A. It was at the wood. so always carry uh, cash. always carry oh, yeah. cash. Always carry cash. Be ready to buy. Um, <laughs> it's not in the it's not in the sales in the buy. I'm sure you've seen it, but. Hmm. The, the Helvetica documentary is pretty good. They have a, a lot of good counterpoints to... There's some guy who was talking about... The, he was, like, hating on Helvetica mm -hmm. in a similar fashion, but... The only um, people who matter aesthetically are Italians. Oh, yeah, they're, they're good at okay. a lot of things. Every, every, Swiss, and, it's, and Swiss people. I know Italian... No, not Swiss people. I know oh. Italians <laughs> suck, and they're a pain in the ass. But what do you mean, we suck? Oh. They're, the only, they're the only people who have any aesthetic sense, whoever, whoever had no, any aesthetic it, sense. It would even clothes. Like, if you like suits, they got dope clothes. Like, right now, if you had... If you had m m a, a stupid amount of money, the mm -hmm. Italian shit, the fucking lighting, the mirrors, the interior design's always mm. great. The French, is, the French stuff's not bad. Japanese... A workmanship is good, but the aesthetic is not my style. Mm -hmm. But the workmanship's pretty good. Was the guy you were talking about the guy who made uh, New Haas Grotesque? Is that the guy? Grotesque? Um, no. He he spent his. He also the other thing is he uh, he spent his life trying to make the perfect readable book sans serif font, and um, he, what he basically ended up doing was making making fonts quickly. For type foundries, mm. um, for for small amounts of money, and not doing this magnum opus thing that he had spent his whole life writing about. He spent his life sort of prostituting himself, making these mm -hmm. shitty for, shitty fonts for, for uh, industrialists for um, mm. for type foundries. So he so he's made life worse for those who read till the end of time. Possibly, yeah. What's the what's the standard for uh, like uh, novels? The serif font that's like the, the standard. You, there's a bunch of you could use any of them. You could use Garamond or uh, Times New Roman or I think there's one called Dido. Um, there's a there's a ton of they're they're all very similar. Once they when they shrink down, all that matters is that they're they're roughly Times New Roman sized and they have gentle serifs but they look they all look very similar let me ask you this size. what utility is there in wingdings it's everything okay what about the man who invented wingdings it's probably a genius it's probably anthony wiener i stand up to bullies it's <laughs> anthony hopkins that invented it <laughs> hey, per, uh, wingdings so uh, provided a workaround by giving people high quality scalable images that don't clog up their hard drives oh, that's wow. perfect Thank wingdings you. is great Wingdings is the is the source. Charles Bigelow. Wingdings and there's wing bats and what? Cr and Chris from Mr. Beast. What about yeah. Dingbat? Oh dingbat? yeah, Dingbat. <laughs> dingbat. Chris. Not, not Wingbat. He's dingbat. Oh. Dingbat's like the same thing, but just like different. Originally uh, named some kind of alcohol. What do you think theory. about the typeface? The uh, the dyslexia one with the weighted uh, l weighted fucking letters. It's probably awesome. So you it's. Strictly for readability, it kind of mm -hmm. subverts what this uh, that gremlin did. I need, for his can you whole look life. that up, Chris? I, I need dyslexia. That. <laughs> Nick knows I need that. Yeah, try. I've been using that on my on my little reader for Chris, years. Chris most, uh, speed reader. We. He turns Portuguese. Oh, that looks cool. Hmm. Is that the one, John? Yeah, yeah. This is what I've been using for. That's nice. How did you find that? I was looking for it for years and years and years because I was like, I can't read letters. I can't, I, the words, the, the letters switch, numbers switch. I'm like, my brain's not right. That's why I had to look out this. Mm -hmm. My like brain's this. not right. I like this. This is cool. Mm -hmm. What do you think about printing a book in that, though? That'd be great. It'd be no? fine, yeah. BDP. Yeah. I like it. You see the weight. Like, you see, it's got what was taken away. If it's, if it's readable, is it, is it your experience that it's readable fast? Yes. Yeah, then hell yeah. Yeah. What's another good font? Euro style or Aerostyle. E U R O S T I L E. 
I think this might be my favorite font, which is kind of a basic. Oh. This is a sort of basic bitch favorite mm. font to is have. Is it a uh, Porsche uses it? No. Well, maybe they have in the in the. This just the Euro steel that that Italian. looks like something oh, like. They use this for style project. Well, it's, it most certainly influenced <laughs> the the font the uh, typeface. That cold Porsche, type copies. I Porsche what that uses. Means. Oh, it's cold. Cold type. Oh, okay. This shit's cold. cold. That's cool. But I think this was used in, was this used in 2001 Space Odyssey? The other one hmm. I, lo I like the most is, um, who makes no, that? Uh, yeah, it was it Space Odyssey, uh, Back to the Future. Oh, oh it was in Space Odyssey. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sarkar, yeah. This is Shiba's driver. Nice. This is, this is a, a typeface where if you, it's, it's overused. It's like Helvetica. It's used to have a, it's used to quickly give your project a sci-fi sort of vibe, but it's, it's indisputably, um, uh, very beautiful. Hmm. Futura had its moment. Futura is a good a good typeface for sure. I'm a big fan of Hobo. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Hobo is Hobo is Hobo's a good good font. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Hmm. This the, if you get it, you cannot get hung up on this stuff. You'll end up like Jan Chichold if you think if you become an elitist or you become dogmatic about typefaces. They all they all have uses, and it's it's all um, super perfectly possible to take the most beautiful font ever and create. The worst thing. Can you type in, uh, type in hell, uh, type in Euro, uh, Euro style word cloud. Euro stile word cloud. You can, you can take, um, and th that's, that's not Euro stile, but you can, you can take your favorite typeface and create an abomination. You can create an ab abortion of thought that, uh, that is the, the, it is, doesn't even belong in the head of uh, the homeless guy whacking it in the library. You can that's make off to. You can make the, you can that. take the best, you can take the best thing ever, the best ingredients, and make a, <coughs> a total slop. A public knowledge recipe for the worst uh, food of all time. Like, like what's the worst? What's the wor universally worst food that probably anybody would not like? That's bad. Like uh, uh, uh seafood. Uh, uh, chow mein sandwich. <laughs> haggis. Yeah, yeah. Haggis. Chow mein chow sandwich. sandwich. Chow, chow, sandwich. chow mein yeah. sandwich has its own Wikipedia page. Chow mein sandwich. Jeez. Look. Idiots, idiots. Yo. Slop. You can take. Yeah, you make a chow mein sandwich recipe out of your steel. Uh, you your can take steel. the best, you can take the best font, Served the best hot. typeface and make a chow mein sandwich. Or you can take a, a typeface like a hobo. <laughs> you can take a typeface like a hobo or comic sans and unironically in a non Reddit way, elevate it to uh, to a mastermind level. Yeah, make um, a, yeah. a beer. You just have to be, you just have to be, uh, just think about what you're doing. That's really all you have to do. In twenty in twenty ten, every restaurant hmm. used uh, Babis for their menus. Remember that? Uh, what was the fuck? You guys are familiar with this. Oh, Emigre is the foundry. My favorite foundry. E M I G R E. Emigre type, and these guys they do silly. They take silly mm. shit. Mm. And um, but Emigre Matrix typefaces are are super. I like a hmm. ransom. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen ransom? Oh yeah, ransom font. R ransom. I did uh, stickers for my landscaping company in ransom font That's for my insane. personal truck one time. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, man. I made on my F one fifty. I made round hill landscaping in ransom font. I put Fuck them on my back yeah. windows of my truck. Oh yeah. That's super funny. That's a payday. That's for pay you're that's, <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I know you're a payday player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like is that what the so game's called? Payday? Yeah, yeah payday, payday two. Payday two. Yeah, yeah I did We're doing was... payday two and three, don't worry. What was that oh, the yeah. corroded cowboy one that everybody <laughs> used? Yeah, this shit. Cow cowboy Ugh. bleeding. Ugh. Classic. Yuck. Peaky blinders. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Radio 